In our last prayer letter, I gave you a list of various prayer requests that were very important to us, and many of them still remain important to us. Uh, but I wanted to give you an update. When we came back to Brazil at the end of May, we came to our city without a house, and we began to look immediately. You were praying that the Lord help us to find housing, and He did, and He helped us find it quickly. I'm actually standing on the side of the house right now. It's spacious enough for our family. We'll be able to do all that we need to do in this place. And we praise the Lord for that and want to thank you sincerely for your prayers. This place has actually got some perks that the other house didn't have, especially when it comes to storing away suitcases and things like that. And we are very grateful for that. Now, we also ask that you'd pray uh, for the reintegration process back into our church. We weren't sure how things were going to go. We were trusting the Lord. We had great hope, and the Lord came through on that as well. We're so, we're so grateful. They had a breakfast for us at 8 in the morning, our first church service with them. They had a big sign made for us and big smiles, and we were so encouraged to be back. I've actually preached several times at this point, the people have been very receptive. A young gal, about 11 years old, she's just asked Christ to save her. We have others that are speaking to me saying, you know, Pastor, I need, I need to better understand how to have assurance of my salvation. And then there are some in our church who have been able to reach others, and we're seeing them visit the church, and we're very encouraged by that. And I want you to keep praying for those that our church is reaching. Now, we were given a notice by the owners of that building that we're using right now that by August 30th, they need us to move out. They want the building back. Now, this did put our church in a, in, a, in a situation where we could worry, we could stress, but we're taking it as a challenge of our faith. We believe that this is an opportunity for the Lord to show Himself mighty, show Himself gracious to our church. And there's actually a piece of property, three lots that have been offered to us, and we're wanting to see if the Lord would have us to purchase that land. Now, there's no building on it, but if He can provide the land, He can provide the building. In the meantime, by August 30th, we're going to have to have another place to meet. That might have to be a rented building. That might be a church member's home. That might be this home and where I'm standing right now. But whatever the case, I'd like to really ask you to pray that the Lord would give us faith and wisdom and resources. We need to trust Him with whatever He shows us. And then the wisdom is what He shows us, and we need to know what that is. And then we need resources. There's, there are going to be needs. Our, our people have faithfully given. They pay all the bills. But when it comes to purchasing a piece of property and then building on top of that and those types of things, that's something that the Lord's going to have to provide. And we believe that where we are faithful, then the Lord comes along and does the supernatural, does things above and beyond us. And that's what we're looking for Him to do. And we're asking you to pray. Now, you've prayed for the Lord to allow us to find a home, to get here, to reintegrate with the church. And that has gone wonderfully well. Thank you for praying. Please continue to pray with us about the matter of this building and the development of the church as we go on through the next several months. As we told you in the prayer letter, there's also a team coming down. It's called the Edge to Go International. It's a camp in Virginia that's coming down with several uh, camp workers to hold a camp for us here and also help us do evangelistic services, canvas the area, evangelize, and so forth. We're really excited about that. We want everything to be in order here now so that when they come next year toward the end of February, that everything will be lined up just perfectly. So I'd like to ask you to pray about that too. Uh, we want it to be a blessing to those that are coming down. And obviously we want it to have an impact on this community. There's a great need here. So many people have an understanding of the gospel that is either limited or completely perverted. And we want to saturate the area with a true, solid understanding of the gospel, sound doctrine. And we would love for you to pray for that. So thank you again for all your prayers, standing with us. For those of you who have recently joined us as supporters, thank you. Those of you who have uh, been faithfully supporting us for a long time, we also want to tell you how much we're grateful for you standing with us. You've meant a lot. Furlough was a tremendous experience. People ask us, do you have horror stories? Not this time. <laughs> In fact, we have very few all the way through, but this last furlough was just a, a tremendous blessing. We're grateful to each of you pastors and supporters, all of you churches. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And if you ever have questions about what the Lord's doing or these things I've mentioned in this video or in the prayer letter, please let us know. Thank you.